can you hear it? It's the songs of the coast, and perhaps the loudest voice in this symphony of the sea belongs to the right whale. Right whales inhabit the entire east coast of the U.S. It's a large 14, 15 meter long uh, baleen whale. Duke University professor Douglas Nowacek says the songs of these marine mammals are fading fast. They are historically known as the right whale because they were the right whale to kill, and they also uh, were more likely than other whales to float when they were killed. And in fact, there was a, a community locally, just here out on Shackleford Banks, that used to row out in small boats and kill right whales during, during the whaling years. Now we have somewhere between four and 500. Ship strikes and fishing nets still cause whale deaths every year, but the search for energy could drive this species closer to extinction. The main things that are slated for the East Coast are, are near shore wind energy, and then offshore oil, oil and gas development. And to search for it, petroleum companies are using seismic guns. Seismic uh, air guns are used to basically interrogate what's in the bottom. For oil and gas, what's used is, is commonly referred to as deep penetrating seismic, and it's just compressed air. So they bring compressed air down to the gun, it lets that compressed air go, and then it's basically a controlled explosion uh, in the water as that compressed air expands and then contracts again and, and, and collides and makes a big bang. Scientists use the reverberation from these explosions to produce a 3D image of the ocean deep. An, an explosion on land that's used to clear rock or whatever, that's the kind of scale that we're talking about. It's not like a, a little pop gun. Out here on the coast, sound pollution from boats, sonar, and other man-made sources are affecting the very existence of the right whale. But other creatures that inhabit these same waters may also be at risk. So lots of animals in the ocean use, use sound. It's an important modality because it travels uh, farther than, than anything else. Light doesn't travel very far in the ocean, so sound is a very important modality for these guys. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has extended a proposal to expand the critical habitat for the right whales along the east coast, which would prevent oil companies from surveying in the designated areas. NOAA is also implementing speeding violations involving large yachts and ships traveling more than 10 knots, with civil penalties totaling over $13,000. But even with the rules, NOAA says the real issue is how seismic surveying will affect the whales. Right whales, for example, on the East Coast have never been exposed to seismic. They might not pay any attention, but we know from their close cousin, the bowheads, the bowheads do have responses to seismic. They, they divert uh, around the area they'll start to call more in the, in the face of noise to maintain, to maintain contact. And so if we have critical habitat, uh, you know, there's more push and pull, right? It's critical habitat for right whales. What sort of activities should we allow in those areas? The, the discussion about how do we do things wisely, whether it's in your own backyard or in someone else's backyard, I think is a really important point, right? Just because it's happening 200 miles away doesn't mean I shouldn't care about it. And while the public tries to answer those questions, these endangered whales continue to brave noisy waters. And for now, their songs must go on. In Beaufort, North Carolina, I'm AJ Nwoka reporting.